Hello, my dear baby. I have made my tea for myself. First tea of the day. Uh, and I am <coughs> ready to continue. Of course, I didn't drunk my tea yet. So I will do so during the recording. So I talked with you. We are making arrangements to build equipment and gather as many of the Dalish together as we can. There is still the chat that you don't want me to open, so I will not open. I did talk to you. So yeah, I have this Fallon switch. Nice uh, bow. Unfortunately, Eliana cannot use it yet. But the wolf killer is not that bad either. So yeah. These have a pretty Okay, I'm Okay. <coughs> Alright. So there is nothing more here, nothing more there. There is the guard here. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. Okay. Let's go to the camp then. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. <laughs> complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an utter relief. Yeah. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, Alistair. You won't have to rule. I will be the king. So let's get to the camp, shall we? Yeah, I have very strong Urgre, it's a big cup, it's a big cup, so I have a, a double uh, tea filter in it, and there is no uh, flavor of that, no, no honey, no sugar, no, um, what it's called, lemon, yeah, so. Toby! Goodbye. Seven. I suppose you wish something. <clears throat> As you like. I know little enough of the daily, other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease, and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All this tale in the book. Yeah. So you are an assassin and the son of a war. <laughs> a Dalish whore, thank you very much. It was my sole distinction amongst the other elven boys in the whorehouse. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. Yeah. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. What does this have to do with the daily? My original point is that my mother's dailish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. Dalish 
But you don't think of yourself as dead? Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Still, that did not stop me from running off to join a clan when I drew near Antiva City once. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Seven disapproves minus three. Minus thirty-five was tied. Okay, uh, Zavan, so you can have these gloves because no one else will take them. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? They are there is gloves, like your mother. I... Maker's breath. You're right. It is like my mother's. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. Um, it, it was not cheap, I, I... Did I broke one? Yeah, I did, but it was cheap. Um, <laughs> so it was not, not, not right to say it was not cheap. Um, you are uh, welcome, I guess. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. Okay, plus 11. So now it's only minus 24 hostile. It says I eat them, but uh, that's probably just the pub that I gave away the item. Okay. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Here I am. Again? I'm game. Okay. I didn't expect anything more out of you. Vin? Thank you so much. This is about Anarin, I assume? Yes. You led me to Anarin. You persisted, even though I was sure all you were going to find was a dead end. I'm glad I could have. I will never be able to repay you for what you've done for me. Finding an errand allowed me to bring that chapter of my life to a close. I feel free. A great weight has been lifted off my heart. This moment, it feels like the moment before the sunrise, when all the world is still, holding its breath, waiting for first light. I can stop thinking about my past and look forward to the future. Thank you, my friend. You will always have my gratitude. Oh, just easy. What's on your mind? I will answer to the best of my... It was easy. It was nothing. Oh. There is uh, a Mr. Peter. The Circle of Magi stands ready to... Be ready. And there is a Mr. Caron. You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. Do you need anything? We have assembled on a short schedule. Certain factors of equipment could be better. Crafting components would serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. Okay. At your word, Warden. Your man will commit to my call. I would not insult them by asking. Word was given, and that is all that needs to be said. At your word, Warden. Be ready. Always, Warden. Okay. So turn in the one rune I found. Give all unassigned novices. Leave. Turn you are point. wise to invest in the effectiveness of your followers. Okay. Hmm, turn in crafting materials for the dailies. Give all air foods and give all deep mushrooms and uh, give all that root. That's a lot. I have a lot of those. I think I will wait with that. <laughs> okay, let's chat with more again. I await your command. So, full of questions, I... Nothing new, okay. 
Enchantment. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Stories are circulating about a Grey Warden forming a new army. Not Logan, not the Ban Orn, but something else. Oral House says this new army would just add to the chaos, but nobody's listening to him anymore. You wouldn't know anything about that, I assume. Huh? I thought not. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Queen Enora issued a plea to the Benorn to stand down, lest there be a repeat of the winter's breath elsewhere. I don't think they're listening, though. Many of them think Enora isn't even the one really speaking. They say the Queen does what her father tells her. Yeah. Can't say I blame them. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it. There's been a battle out at winter's breath. Several of the Benorn banded together and fought against Logain's men. Maybe a thousand on the field, all told. Tian Logain won the day, it said, but there were heavy losses on both sides. It's a fight for the throne, just like in the old times. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. I've heard some strange word out of the Brazilian forest that Dalish elves are being called together to form some kind of army. And it's to help us, not attack us. Doesn't that beat all? When I heard that, I thought for sure we were done. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it from... I heard a story today. Ban Grain put her own fields to the torch, rather than let Logain's men feed off them. Three of them died in the flames. Some of the soldiers got angry and chased the woman down in her own manner, putting a sword through her. Without permission, is the excuse we're told. Logain killed Grain's husband at winter's breath. She had a right to do with her crop as she pleased. This is still for Eldon, isn't it? Freeholder answers to no one. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. The blight sickness brought by the dark spawn is spreading faster than anyone thought. Several sources say that it's even here in Denerim. From what I hear, there's an outbreak in the Elven alienage in the city. Others tell me that's not true. Still, it's a frightening thought. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. I don't know what to tell Okay. You and your friends are formidable folks. Time to I'm sell all my crap to you. <sighs> crap that I didn't store it yet. <laughs> so yeah, for example, all these axes we are not using access, so you can keep them. The Disman dagger I will keep. The use service I will keep. Should I keep the old keeper? Doesn't seem like. Well, I should keep something. Yeah, it's better than the long sword. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, the long sword is the same as the Elvish blade that I gave to Leliana. That is better than the old keeper. Interesting that it's still cheaper. Yeah, I mean the long sword is standard sword. The old keeper have uh, ability for a rune and a little bonuses. Okay, I guess I will sell the old keeper. Sword boss can go away. Okay, what about the daily longbow? Have rapid aim, and these not. But yeah, so let's say uh, these and keep the daily longbow. Okay, the oak branch. It's just the magic stuff. Hmm. And about the armors, I don't know. We can sell these shields. Yeah, you can sell this and chant their clothes. You can sell this. Uh, I guess I can sell this too, yeah, because we are stripped to win and we have something better in this slot for win. So, yeah, I will sell it. Yeah, you can go away. You can go away.
The green stone can go go away, I think. Okay. I think these have some uses. I don't know, I don't remember, but yeah, I think. Hope I gonna sneeze. Uh. Okay, I remembered my mi microphone shortcut, so I turned off my um, my microphone receiving. So I sneezed. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I know you said bless you, probably. <laughs> ah, strong, strong tea. Okay, so yeah, I think these have uses, so I will keep them. And I'm not sure about the armor, so before I sell everything, I have to make sure, um, yeah, there is one more warrior companion remaining to gather, so I have to make sure that, yeah, everyone will have something to share. It speaks. Yeah, it, it speaks. Still with me, I see. Its journeys are fascinating. I had thought its chances slim, but perhaps I'm even wrong on that point. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No, you are quite happy. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of... It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. Yeah. Um. Stan. Yes. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. Okay, that was short. Alistair. Something on your mind? Of course. Okay. La Leona, you are 100. I was just thinking ah. about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. That is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving.
Mm, nice thingy. I'm here for you. Of course. Okay, nothing new. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Of course. Wait, you want to talk uh, about us? Is there something bothering you? You are the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay, so inventory and uh, level up management. So Morrigan leveled up. Uh -huh. She can be our kin warrior too. Yeah, I guess. Morrigan. Um, Yeah, this need 34 magic, so we don't exactly need more. Yeah. So yeah, once again the question is, do we go for more magic or we go for some willpower? I think I have been starting to go for willpower so that we have more mana. Yeah, I guess I can give this one point and this two point. Yeah, and then... Yeah, I think I will go Ark in Warrior with my mages, since... Yes. Uh, Win is already Spirit Healer. And, and Blood Mage is not... Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is fine. Oh, and we got another level up. Okay, ma maximum herbalismus. And what spell we should pick? Well, we are on the way to the Death Cloud, which is, looks amazing. So yeah, we need to pick up now Curse of Mortality. Yeah, I really love the description here. The caster curses a target with the inevitability of true death. Why curse? The target cannot heal or regenerate health and take continuous spirit damage. Yes, please. That sounds awesome. So yeah, there. Here goes the direct attack moves. And yeah, this is a direct attack move. Yeah, 60 second cooldown. And then this. The Mind Blast is more like a self-defense move. So I think... Uh, I will move it towards the end. Yeah, there. So th that is Mind Blast. And then there is Drain Life and uh, Death Magic for healing. And then there is the Frost Weapons and Vulnerability Hacks, which are pretty useless things. And uh, Spider Shape is useless. And yeah, then there we've got this, this Disorient. This is but yeah, here. This is a, a great combo here. Sleep and uh, Waking Nightmare or Sleep and Horror. The target's already asleep when the spell is cast, cannot resist. It takes massive spirit damage. That's, I like the sound of that, but also this. Waking Nightmare. Yeah, 
Det är randomlig standard och att vänner vi så bygger om det kastar sig eller ej. Ändå minst det är över det görs liv känner till det sist. Ja. Så det är det här 50 seconds cool and this is 40 so yeah basically this two is, is a better combination than this. So I can cast sleep and, and waking nightmare and on the side every 20 second horror. But yeah, there is this too. Curse of mortality. I love it. <laughs> Probably that that line of magic my 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 mage character, my evil evil mage character will have that line of magic. So be so I have been buffing the constitution. And we need some dexterity too to hit the target. So what should I do now with these three points? I say yeah, uh, pass the constitution 25. Well, 22 with 22 he's already one of the highest <laughs> in the entire party. Mm -hmm. Well, let's put this to 24 and this to 36. Why not? So yeah, we have Nemesis. I love it. The Mobari has become a relentless killer. It gains bonuses to health and health regeneration. And that image of that dog <laughs> with this big, big open mouth, with ready to bite and and star star eyes. That's still a view step image. I love it. Just like the death cloud. So now we can go on the other line. The dread howl. Stunning most nearby enemies. And the growl. Uh, suffers penalty to defense. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. And also let's check out the new uh, uh, new uh, color we have. So yeah, we have charge, which is very good for closing down the distance and knocks down an opponent. And there is the red how stuns enemies. That's very good. And then there is grow. That's penalty to defense, and then there is shred. Automatic critical hit. Okay, and let's check out the color. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it's an inferior version of the mobile war harness. Okay. Next character. Stan. So yeah, we are at 39, and we need uh, 40 for the uh, destroyer ability. Yeah. So yeah. Then I will put you to forty. Um, 
And I guess, yes, I, I should increase your constitution. Uh, one interesting thing I noticed that even though Stan is level 12, and so by level 7 he should get one specialization point, he doesn't have. It doesn't say here that he has a specialization point. So I was thinking that okay, he cannot be Templar because uh, he is a Connery and that the two doesn't come together. <laughs> but no, he, he doesn't have a specialization point at all. Interesting. And so. He got over 4 of the Master Combat Training, he got the Poison Making, so he can use my Poisons. And that is really not point anything. Herbalism uh, is not needed. Drop Making is not needed, Alistair will get that. So I guess I will just take Survival for them Resistant Bonuses. And what we should get? And this toy airline is pretty uh, bad. We got town, that's good. So, yeah, I guess I can get critical strike now. Single massive swing at the target. Automatic critical hit. Yeah, I like that. Number one spot. Then there is the two hundred sweep. The mighty blow, the pomer strike I like, that's not bad, knocking the enemy down, and then the powerful swings, yeah the thunder arms is pretty useless, I will just move it back to the indomitable is useless and the precise striking is useless. Okay, next. Next we have that one. Ooh, what should I do with you? Well, why don't I just even your points out like that? And yeah, you can be my poison maker. Mm -hmm. And if I remember correctly, I didn't really like your assassin skills. So yeah, mark of that. Revealing weakness that others can exploit. All attacks against market target zero additional damage. Exploit weakness. During a successful backstab attack, the assassin gains additional damage based on cunning. Aha, yeah, and you don't have that much cunning, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, 18. Oh so, yeah, because of the low cunning, uh, the assassin <laughs> training is not suited for was that one? It would be more suited for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, additional damage based on cunning on a successful backstab attack. So, okay, yes, yeah, this goes fair well with being started, but otherwise, I mean, you already doing a backstab attack that deals a massive damage. So, why are the 
plus damage for that, not impressive. Lots of it. Yeah, once again, the backstab deals enough damage, bleeding rounds, inflicting additional damage for a short time. Feast of the Fallen. Stamina is partially restored whenever Assassin fails an opponent with a backstab. Once again! Wow, so useless! Similarly useless to the warrior. Uh, training where if the warrior kills the enemy then it, then it gets a, a buff or something. Here it, it is it, it's similar to that. So the assassin has to do the finishing blow and it has to be a backstab. <laughs> so it's not a, if it's not a backstab then it, this doesn't count. <laughs> so it, it, this, this is even worse than the warrior uh, talent. I mean, yeah, granted, with the stat, we can, you know, get out of a uh, battle and do a stat to the attack that increases our chance for a backstab, but still, wow. Oh yeah, and we don't have enough cunning for, for being a master stat, so take it back. Let's take it back. That one must go at least uh, 22 cunning, because, yeah, his character is based around the stat and... and yeah, and I cannot get to there in this level up. <laughs> LOL. So yeah, one more cunning missing. And yeah, we are far off to get the evasion. We can get the coup the grades. Yeah, uh, and, and, and this lateralty we got is actually not useful at all for us. I, I don't remember if uh, I, prob prob I, I probably Zev1 started out with this because I would not pick this because Zev1 had uh, yeah <laughs> a 19 strength and now 21 deck um, 21 cunning so his cunning is barely better than his strength so this lethality is very meaningless and this dexterity will not get 35 so we don't need this, as I probably have uh, started out with this, otherwise it was a big mistake for me to pick this. <laughs> so I could go get some dual weapon talent, I cannot get master that, or I could get Coup de Grace. Inflicts automatic backsteps against stunned and paralyzed target that's that those get together well with these but yeah once again these are very lackluster skills in my opinion yeah and probably this one is, is is okay because yeah it doesn't require circumstances to come together it just activated uh, a spell basically for 45 uh, stamina which is not that good 60 second cooldown so yeah I mean basically we can use this against a boss so yeah this is yeah this this doesn't uh, require circumstances to come together all of these uh, yeah very circumstances are, so I don't like them Yeah, I could get Coop the Grades. Yeah, I mean, this goes well together with uh, uh, the Dirty Fighting stuns the target for a short time. That should be enough for <laughs> automatic backstab. <laughs> so, yeah, I will take this. Okay. Okay, and then the next and the last is Shale who doesn't get a level up. 
and we don't got any new items for sale. That one I will not trust uh, to have any new weapon of armor. Uh, so, Mulligan is the question if I give her this old plant. So, yeah, that piece of wood that I got in the early game that was pretty nice. It's also interesting that it has a magic requirement and not uh, a mage requirement. Doesn't have mage requirement. Hmm, I see. It's the same base stars as this, but. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, this yeah, this is this is straight uh, out uh, superior. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, she just have the normal uh, uh Yeah, and she does have one code spell rather for Weapon, but that probably doesn't affect it, but yeah, he, uh, she had the winter glass. So yeah, <laughs> I don't think that, I do not know if that does direct damage or not, but yeah, uh, you can, you can have this. And yeah, uh, you can have the better boots. And, and that's all. Yeah, because um, this is this is pretty pretty yeah hefty plus five magic. So yeah, with these two together, uh, she have plus forty core damage. So yeah, if I had knew that this will come out like this, I would have went for the cold magic branch instead of the lightning. Yeah. Instead of shock, I would have gone, gone for the corn of gold and and blizzard. Uh, whatever. Okay, so that was more against. Uh, and she had the enchanter aiming cap. <laughs> Teen foil hat. Okay. Stan doesn't have any amulet, so maybe I should not have sold that one that I had. I mean, that's okay, it should not matter that much. Yes, Stan have this awesome nut crusher. Chance to stun, and, and it has plus 100 stamina, so that's great. So yeah, let's check if I can give Stan any better armor. I still like to keep him with the Connery Pickhand cap for story and and and, and, and the role playing reasons. So yeah. Yeah, this is a, a direct upgrade. So you can have this one. Yeah, the Wagaton armor. Let's see, that's 12, or more, well, 16. Huh. Yeah, but it should not be a problem with the plus 100 stamina. Yeah, I, I, I would like if he would I have that instead of this. Okay, any mirror gloves. We have better gloves. And this one. Yeah, okay. Okay. That one you can 
Oh, that one actually uh, equipped the Davis gloves. The item. Okay. Although I can take it away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now that uh, I gave it to him, it became a normal item, not a gift item, and now I, ca I can take it away. But why would I? It's useless, so... Yeah, you can keep it, that one. I'm sure we don't have anything new. Alright, then... Then... Then we are set up. Okay, so this is the end of the episode. I hope you had fun. See you next time.